In this video we'll go through the latest features of Picascope 6.6. We'll be using a beta version. Soon after this video is released, 6.6 will move from being a beta to a full release. This conveniently brings us to the first point. The beta software is now installed in a different folder and a new beta icon shortcut appears on the desktop. This means that both the non-beta software and the beta software could be installed at the same time. This is also true of the automotive software. So let's fire the software up. The next thing to notice is that the demo mode has also changed. Instead of having multiple devices, the new demo mode now includes a single device, which better demonstrates the features of the software. This includes advanced triggering, faster implementations of streaming and block mode, the use of the arbitrary waveform editor, to name a few. Now let's move on and investigate the latest features available that are not specific to the demo mode. So let's choose a device. The first feature we'll go through is the recent file list, which now includes a thumbnail view, which is ideal for quick access. This conveniently brings me to the next feature. So if I load one of the waveforms in the thumbnail view, At first glance, channel B does not seem to be enabled. This is because it has been hidden from view by channel A. If we click on the scaling button on the bottom left hand side, we now see two new buttons, center back and bring to front. As the name implies, center back would send channel A to the back of the view and we can now see channel B. And we can then bring it to the front of the view again. The same can be done for channel B. The next thing I want to talk about is the advanced mass channels. So if we go to tools, mass channels, and go to the mass channel wizard, there are seven new advanced mass channels. We have frequency, differentiation, integration, minimum, maximum, average, and peak, also known as envelope. So we'll choose a frequency a mass channel to demonstrate. So if I load a waveform that I created before, and apply a frequency mass channel. This is one I created earlier. You'll notice that now the y-axis is in frequency and the trace now appears in black. You'll also notice a number of spikes. So if we zoom into one of these spikes and zoom in a little more, you'll notice as the signal changes the frequency also changes. This is very useful for detecting glitches. The final feature I want to talk about is um, under the Preferences section and it's Keyboard Shortcuts. It's under the Keyboard tab. This is an incredibly useful feature and after popular demand has been implemented. This allows you to have keyboard shortcuts for the vast majority of controls and features of the software. So this can range from changing the collection time to uh, saving files and adjusting the signal generator functionalities and a whole lot more. We'll go through two or three of these. So we'll change the collection time and we'll assign control N for the next collection time and control B for the previous collection time as it's next to N and we'll choose save the current waveform as with control S. Click on OK and if we apply the signal generator and do an auto trigger if we press control N it increases the collection time if we press it again and again and again. We can also go to the previous collection time by pressing control B again and again and again and again. And if we press Ctrl S, we can save the current waveform. This concludes this video on the latest features of Picascope 6.6. Thank you for watching, and for more videos, please visit www.picascope.tv.